Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's a good Libby, it's just Libby. I'm finally back with another video. And reading the title of today's video, you guys already know that today I'll be showing you how PayPal works. So I've been getting a lot of requests on making this video about how PayPal works. I'm guessing people just don't really know how it works. And here is the video today. If you're new to my channel and you're interested in making money online, please feel free to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video. We make money online here. So if you are interested, please don't forget to subscribe. Let me not waste your time. Let's get to today's video. Let's do what we do best. Let's make money online. If you are new to my channel and you're interested in making money online, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video. Let's get to today's video. Before we begin, I'd just like to make a disclaimer. PayPal is a very secure environment, so hence why I've tried before to like screen record throughout the sign up process, only to find that the screen is blank. The reason why I'm mentioning this is because I don't want to show you guys the sign up process like on my phone, like show it to you guys because I feel like that's also doing what they don't want us to do. So I'll just, we'll just talk it through as I do it step by step and then I'll just show you how you receive money into your PayPal and how that whole process of receiving money and like just basically how PayPal works. So stay tuned for that. I just want to let you guys know what PayPal is. So it is simply a way to transfer and receive money. Normally it uses dollars and there is a variety of other currencies that you can use on this platform, but mainly dollars. You know guys that I work on online jobs and all these things that require me to have a PayPal account because these companies use PayPal. PayPal is the easiest way to transfer money to clients or to anyone basically who's in a different country. I mainly use USD, which is dollars. And wherever you are, you can change the currency. That's all up to you. Okay, I'll just use an example with one of the apps that I use, which is Sweatcoin, and how they've sent me and how I received the money. Since I already have a PayPal account, I can't use mine as a sign up. I'm going to create a new one. Can't put anything on the screen for you guys because even if I try to screenshot it, it won't allow me to. I'll just talk it through real quick and then we'll get to the actual app and how it works. Some people might want to know how the sign up goes i just really want to show you guys that signing up on paypal is not like hard it's very simple it's easy question let's get to it so the paypal shows like this i'm sorry about the lighting so it shows like this yellow color and then at the top it says secure environment therefore i cannot record the first step is to add your mobile number so you get a verification code after you have added your number. So that's the verification code that you're gonna put and then continue. So the next step is very important because it's your email address and this is what you normally use if someone wants to send you money into your PayPal account. So make sure it's an email address that you have access to and just your personal email address. Make sure it's just that. And the password that you use for your PayPal does not have to be the one that you use for your email. But to make things easier for you, you could just simply use the same email address. Okay, now you need to set up your profile. They ask for your nationality. So you have to put in your first name, your last name, your identity card, so your document, your document number, so your ID number and your date of birth. So basically, once you put your ID number, they can tell what your date of birth is, and then you can move to the next step. After setting up your profile, you need to confirm your address. So this has nothing to do with them coming to your house or anything like that. It's to just identify that you actually have an address, if that makes sense. You click on I agree that I have read, because I know you're not going to read those terms and conditions. Once that's done, adding your address, it then loads. I'm so sorry, you guys won't even be able to see this. So now you have to create a username. So if you see that they tell you that the username is already taken, just make or create a unique username. You can add numbers to your name, anything. Just create something that, 
that does not exist basically they do have suggestions for you so it doesn't really matter it doesn't change anything you can just pick the ones that they have unless you want like a unique name for whatever it is that you might be doing with your personal paypal account so yeah so it's up to you if you want to verify your bank account so since i'm already just making like a dummy account for you guys to know the sign up process i'm not gonna add my bank accounts i'll just show you guys once i'm done with all the sign ups if you really want to add your bank account you can do so right now or you can wait it's all up to you as you can see i'll put a screenshot here so as you can see you have an option to send or request money if you're someone that does hair let's say you stay in the states right and you do hair what you would ask your client to do so you would ask them to request money from you so that you can pay and then there's more proof and evidence that you've sent or received the money that's basically why there's a request option for you so when you send basically when you click on send that's when you have to either put someone's name that is in your contact list or the email address you see that the email address is something that's very important let me take a screenshot of this so you guys can see that they say name or address which is an option once you've received let's just say i just received money into my paypal account you'll get a notification i'll put this small like notification that you get once your money is in normally it comes in as an email or you can just come into your paper and it will be there. It automatically gets into your paper once someone uses your email address. It's nothing too hectic. It's just the email address that's important. So PayPal is a very secure environment. PayPal can store very important information for you. It can store evidence for you. Do not delete anything in this platform. You don't have to. If you make business purchases or anything like that, do use PayPal. PayPal is the way to go. For content creators, you guys know, like for the ones that are in this niche of how to make money online, this whole, you know, industry of making money online, some companies will tell you that, oh, we'll pay you out through our app. Well, mainly for me, I don't do sponsored videos most of the time. You've never seen any includes pro promoted video or anything like that because in this industry or in this niche, it's normally scammers. People create apps websites to just sit there and scam people so just know that once i promote apps or websites in this channel it has to be 100 percent legit because so anyways i'm so out of topic but i was just saying that paypal is a very secure environment this is people who, in, who are in south africa if you want to do any dealings with someone who's all the way in america or in a different country basically just use PayPal. It's more secure. It has more evidence. Uh, people can't just take money back and do all those things. Well, sometimes they can. But that's PayPal business most of the time. But yeah, just use PayPal if you have any dealings with people like in different countries. So I think that's enough information about the PayPal platform. If you guys have any more questions, definitely feel free to ask me down in the comment section. I'm definitely here to answer every question just make sure that your questions are polite yeah you'll get an answer that's the end of today's video guys thank you so much for tuning in if you haven't subscribed as yet i don't know what you're waiting for but please do click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified every time i post a video i will be doing a part two on how to link your paypal to your bank account for those of you who want to know so thank you so much for tuning in you guys goodbye thank you so much for watching and please feel free to watch my previous videos Bye!